Ah, oh, yes, it's good. Why is it glitching out? What the hell? It's good to see all four girls uh, up all the way up on the list. And no one is contesting those girls. But there is a contest that I want to do. I want to see how far these these girls can get because those are also singers except for Lindsay Sterling she just makes music with her violin but she's still pretty cool uh, so here we go you already know what the winner is I highlighted it as a thumbnail of the video and the title but I don't know, and you don't know how far the winner is compared to the other girls. We only care about the winner here. And I just thought it was, a, it would be a stupid idea to review them one by one. So might as well just do them all at once. I'm probably going to do one by one with other singers. Uh, but, but it's just a perfect opportunity for me to just clump them all together. Because these are not, like, su super amazing. They don't have a lot of content. Out of all of them, Lindsay Sterling probably has most content. But... Yeah, it's 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 good. It's just there's not enough singing in it. It's just violin, right? So it can be too good. Sometimes they're singing, and uh, those happen to be pretty good. Ah, uh, I I kind of put all my bets on her, honestly, just because of the content. But there's another criteria, right? There's the hotness. How many pictures you have uploaded on, on the internet. That's what that's what will get me. And if if I'm looking for the hottest, Camilla Cabea is definitely the one. But Katy Perry has the most pictures on the internet, I'm pretty sure. And she has pretty good music. So overall, she's like the best built for this challenge, right? So even though Sabrina Carpenter is all the way up on, on this list, she might just lose anyways. Every single girl has an edge apparently and Sabrina Carpenter just happens to be on the top at the moment uh, all right let's see what happens let's pick from the top Sabrina Carpenter is the third Sabrina on YouTube <laughs> above Sabrina itself okay what do you mean, YouTube? Why are you promoting someone that has less subscribers? What the fuck? Well, I, I don't know, because it just changed its mind just because I pretty much searched for it. I don't get it. Wait, wait, wait. How many? Okay, that's... And you get, everyone would like to have 160,000 subscribers with this many uploads, 16 uploads, fucking crazy. We're not talking about this Sabrina here. Let's talk about this one. Oh, ASMR, yeah, I love this one. But to make this fair, I will not care about the actual points. We're gonna end up with 
all gonna care about the heat level. <sighs> it might not be n not fair enough, because I might just end collecting heat today too early, who knows. I have no idea how I'll, I will manage the time on this thing. This seems like a crazy project, but I'm trying it anyways. The point with heat is that you can't really do it over two days, because the heat gets reduced the next day. You want to do it in one day. So, uh, at some point, I don't think I can fit all the girls in, in one day. Today, I cannot fit any girl. But tomorrow, I probably can only like do two at, at a time. So this video will take at least two days to make, which is fine. So this is how she looks like without makeup. Uh, that is so good that it's like, do you actually need makeup at all? So what happens in the end of this video? Anything changes? Uh, she highlights features, I guess, like lips and eyebrows, but that was not necessary, dude. Maybe eyebrow. <laughs> I don't see a difference, just lips, dude. I don't know, dude. And hair? No. Now, Pokemon has a huge meme about makeup and how she looks without it. How terrible she looks without it. It's crazy. This is, this is none of that shit right now. This is surprising that she even fucking needed it at all. What initially attracted me to Sabrina Carpenter is this song, Sue Me. Because she is so cute and sexy in the song, all over, changing outfits and everything. Maybe not every outfit, but it's just a cool song. It's not a great song, it doesn't actually enter my list of great songs. But it's a, it's a very good introduction of a person that Sabrina is. You can kind of get a resemblance of Ariana Grande in, in here. So it was very attractive, pretty much. I believe there are two songs that I liked from Sabrina Carpenter. And I'm not sure why this is called Alien. I think Alien is mentioned like once in the song and that's it. Like the first line of the song. Normally it says, if you love me, let me know. That's what you remember the song by. <sighs> I hate when this happens, when the most important line is not the name of the song, but... Then you have Sabrina Carpenter's Smile. And that's also a good song, but it's very old. And it reminds us that she worked with Disney. And she's a Disney princess, pretty much. Just like Selena Gomez, I guess. I'm like, oh yeah, she's taking light detector test and everything's fine, right? Why is it all technology, though? Why is it not fucking electronic already? Uh, are we so fucking screwed up with nostalgia at this point? We want to see this bullshit? Oh my god. Such such wonderful use of paper, dude. Let's draw a line, dude. Yeah. This has to be the most sexiest song almost of all time, honestly. And you know, it's just like, oh, this little girl just does something really crazy. It's almost porn. <laughs> 
No, but I mean, yeah, the lyrics are pretty sexy. The outfits are pretty sexy. The combination of these two things is pretty badass. Uh, it's still not on my list because the song itself is not cool enough, but it's still it's still a nice video and everything. She's breaking 200, 215 at the moment. Uh, but it, I think it's going to an end now. I am kind of surprised how many songs she has. Uh, and it's pretty good quality too. It's not perfect, but it's good surprising you know because most of the artists don't really produce that many good songs but this was really fine really easy to listen to i didn't skip too much at all i skipped like one song i think and that's it and that's it you know if you don't have songs that i skip and you have a lot of content I'm guessing Sabrina is just gonna win this competition. This is the best shit ever, dude. Yep. Alright, so that should be the final score 275. So, this is how I'm gonna be greeted by Lindsay Sterling. There's no ability to sort by most popular. There's no button here. And, uh... Oh, look, a bunch of... A bunch of shorts that I don't care about. I only care about the music. There are two... Pieces of music. You can't really call them songs. Uh, but I like... Underground and I like shadows wherever they are. Probably deep down, dude. Somewhere deep below, dude. I mean, it's 10 years ago, so of course it's below. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention Shatter Me is pretty good as well. But the biggest problem is that this violin gets boring really fast. It's, it just sounds the same. And there, there's not no intricacy in there. There's And it's it's crazy because there's so much work being put into fucking chore choreography on, on dancing. There's so many people involved putting all these things together. It's crazy, but it, it it just doesn't perform very well when all the pressure is on the fucking violin and not much else. You would wish every singer out there would would have the same budget that Lindsay has, that would produce as many so um, pieces of music as, as Lindsay does, like. It's crazy, but when she does it, it's it's not that entertaining at all. The biggest difference between Lindsay and the singers is that she's able to tap into the, uh, like the fantasy realm. completely separate herself from reality into this like world of music that doesn't have lyrics because if it doesn't have lyrics you're not talking you're not singing about love or some stupid shit you you're trying to fantasize harder and that's just kind of what happened here i wish every singer would do that <laughs> heist is my most favorite video that she has because it it kind of has a solid story and it's it's just fun it's like a video game right 
I think this is where she actually sings. Yeah, it's a pretty sexy song. And it's immediately less boring because there's somebody singing. But because she is singing, it makes it so much more interesting. But obviously, let's scratch all the fantasy bullshit. It's a love song. Obviously. I guess Arena is pretty good. But I'm just not bought into putting it on the list. And we're kind of in six years content here. We're almost in the end pretty much. We have reached 200, which is pretty important. But I, I do not think we can beat Sabrina. Wow, she has another channel. Actually, I don't care. Because these videos are not interesting. She was in America's Got Talent, and I think she got bad criticism. Ah, it's gonna be interesting to see, but here she's back, you know? Fucking weird. Performing with Shimlim himself. Never mind, she got all three yeses, obviously. And no one's upset about it, alright. But then this happens. Why did that happen? So it's time for the conclusion because I've watched pretty much all the content. Not everything, everything. Because there's stuff, you know, that there's some really old stuff. River flows in you. Ugh. Ugh, dude. It's, what? 15 years ago, Violin Rock. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's cool what a Violin can do, but it's also interesting what a Violin can't do. And it's, uh, be interesting in the first place. As much as effort is put into here, just Violin just doesn't have what it takes. I'm pretty sure I have cheated Lindsay and gave her a slightly lower score because I got so bored I went to sleep. <laughs> you know, just that sort of annoying. There's no nothing really happens. Even though like, wow, this is so beautiful and so crazy. And nothing ever happens anywhere. But here you have such crazy videos, so much stuff, but it's just such a difference when people actually sing things. Uh, and that's the way they, they can actually tell stories. With the violin, it's almost impossible. You just banish someone into a realm of uh, weird things happening and it's like oh that's the backstory of a violin you know anything the fantasy realm but it's just not good enough right it, there's no actual story it's just random but it you know there's so many things going on it's pretty entertaining i'm still not saying it's bad or anything yeah it should have been probably 260 to be honest but I screw things up and it's it's probably a, a good sign that it it's not good enough so we're just gonna move on to the next girl Wow Sabrina Carpenter just releases her album two days too late I could have given so many points for that shit I will still give points all right I will still give one point for every decent song that is on the album because it makes sense I'm talking nonsense that's the lyric dude <sighs> oh dude this feels super lazy and there's nothing good about it 
All right, Camilla Cabela. The problem is she's kind of new to the game. She's six years old and technically four years old, I think. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, okay, I'll give her six years. Anyways. I just don't see her as a strong opponent at all. She just doesn't have enough music. Do I have to mix in a little mix? Wait, no. It, it was Fifth Harmony. That's, that's the one that she's from. Uh, technically, I can add that to the mix. Just for reference, Sabri also is kind of six years ago, and uh, ah, that sucks because she's way too way stronger, and they have same size music careers year wise. Anyways, I'm, I guess I'm not gonna go deeper than that. The main reason why I think Camilla is super weak is because I only like one song. That is twice as bad than uh, Sabrina or Lindsay. Just one song. And it's like none of these popular songs either. It's like super obscure, but that's kind of what happens most of the time. It is uh, uh, this love, okay? She was in a relationship with John Mendes, and for some reason they broke up. This guy has so many subscribers, twice as many subscribers than she does. Fucking crazy, dude. Just for the, I'll just check three songs that he has and move on, and I'll give all the points to her as a recommendation, pretty much. We did it! We have reached 200, which is hard to do, but past this point, I don't know, man. I still haven't checked the Fifth Harmony or whatever, but... It's it's not looking good. It's not looking like you can even beat Lindsay at this point. I am surprised that they have a lot of subscribers. I thought it's just it's just gonna be Camilla, but no, they they have just as much. Honestly, crazy. Technically, Camilla just has one album out. How? It's crazy, dude. You can't win anything with one album. You can't win anything with one favorite song that I have. So, I'm pretty sure she's the last place at this point. But surprisingly, we can win against Lindsay. There's one thing that I forgot to do with Sabrina. It's check the remixes. And I... I feel there's gonna be good music in there. All right, this is the end. 247 is the score. Crazy. We actually beat Lindsay in the... <sighs> so that makes sense, but here comes the biggest threat, Katy Perry. She's not like super hot or anything, but it's all about making good music. That's what wins this game right now. <sighs> she might be a big threat. I, I just think she's going to take second place and that's it. Because it's fairly easy to do that. As long, as long as you had a decent career. So that's what I expect. Let's move on. All right, so let's have a look. We are looking at 13 years of music career. That's crazy. 
and unconditionally is actually one of my favorite songs alongside with rise all right so again because she has plenty of songs and they're not bad at all and probably i can i don't i don't know i don't think there's an actual album right is there? I, I guess. She has way more views than even Ariana Grande herself. But not more subscribers. Kind of close. If you're comparing 50 with a 40. It's close. But it's, it's weird at the same time. So let's just dive in and see what happens. Now besides these two music videos, Swish Swish is probably the coolest one I've ever seen. Like, wow. I didn't touch any obscure songs yet, but we already have 200. So I, again, I feel really positive. It's going to be around 260, the result of all. I don't think Katy Perry can actually win, but like, it's possible. So let's look into that. It's really interesting to see that Katy Perry is still active to this day. The last time she released a song was six months ago, which is an okay uh, amount of time to release your song at every six months mm. could be a little better but it was better last year she did at least three songs and god knows how many music videos she did two years ago and three years ago did less so on average you you're looking for like three now four a year four a year let's put it that way that's like releasing an album every two years which is kind of what happened five years ago she doesn't do that anymore but who fucking cares Also, she was incredibly <laughs> ugly at that period, and she had to make a really, really ugly thumbnail. I've never seen anything more horrific than that, and anything mo less reflective of what the album is about. So, it's crazy. Don't be surprised, I will still rise, dude. It's 250. She beaten. The other two girls with Sabrina is left. It's not a lot of points to beat her as well. So who knows what's going to happen. But I'm entering this weird territory where I'm not playing popular songs anymore. I'm just searching for things I've never heard of before. And probably I shouldn't, should not hear that. Anyways, but I'm I'm doing it So last time we checked she was at 1400 kind of had 100 points less than the other girls And 200 points less than Sabrina Right now that's still the case she has 100 points less than the other girls and a lot less than Sabrina a lot 300? No, it's like 400. Yep. Crazy. So, just to beat in points, that, that will be a long journey. Just to get 100 points, that will be difficult. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that that's the case in the first place. She wins in heat. Why is she not getting points? 
Well, it's not as easy as it seems, I guess. I mean, at this rate, uh, Sabrina just can't handle this shit, dude. If I just find a few more songs, it's game over, baby. We are seven points behind, which was easy to get ten points. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be easy to get ten points more. Ah. <sighs> And there were a few gems, I suppose. I I liked a few pieces, like Roulette and Bigger Than Me. Sounds pretty nice. Okay, Miss You More is also pretty good. So this is nothing you would expect. You would just expect some lazy album. Nothing is good. You just skip. You know, you wouldn't wish any of these to turn into their own videos, but it's not that at all. Alright, I'm slightly surprised with that. <sighs> yeah, uh, just Katy Perry wins. That's crazy. I'm scared for the future then. Because uh, I didn't see that coming, dude. So it was pretty interesting, you know, like we have an artist that has around 6 million subscribers, right? And I really well defined that she's way better than the two girls with 13 and 15 million subscribers. But she can't compete with someone with 40 million subscribers, which makes sense, right? Someone with a way bigger career and everything. I ah, yes, but it's even more interesting. There is one more album, I think, because we just bumped into it. As I was like, well, there's no albums. Well, there is. So, Prism. Prism is the one I bumped into. There's some hidden songs. For some reason, there, there aren't... These are not on her channel. You cannot find them there. <sighs> well, I have to look through those too, because they might sound pretty good too. Yeah, and Katy Perry wins overwhelmingly. 316. That is 40 points more. Ah, yes, it's very interesting how Cyrex which probably enters my list like 30 or maybe even 40 times. Barely has 3,000 points versus 2,000 points that Katy Perry now has with only two songs on the list. <sighs> but anyways, even though there were weird set of events happening in this video, it's the end. We know who wins. And uh, we know who's on the thumbnail. Stealing that. Uh, stealing the spotlight, basically. Eh, from three girls. Yeah, that's crazy. See you guys next time.